Good morning. How sweet it is to come your way again today with another Lower Lights devotional with Pastor Hayton. Spoke yesterday about how how we are saved, how we're truly saved, how we can know that our sins are forgiven and that we're on our way to heaven. And of course, that is only by coming to Jesus Christ, not by going to church. It's not by works which we have done. It's not by just turning over a new leaf and being a good person. It's simply trusting in Christ alone. And so if you put your faith and your trust in Jesus Christ, acknowledging that you're a sinner, well, you'll be saved. I hope we made that perfectly clear yesterday. But I'd like to talk just a little bit about this great Jesus Christ. Oh, he's an amazing person, an amazing being. Of course, he is the second uh, person of the Blessed Holy Trinity. But the Bible tells us how he took upon himself the form of man. And it goes on to say he became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And so I want to emphasize today that it's his death on the cross that really saves us. Now, Christ was a person of unusual parentage, to be sure. We know the Christmas story how he was conceived within the Virgin Mary, and uh, how he was born a lowly birth, and uh, yet he declared himself to be the Son of God, proved himself to be the Son of God with the working of many miracles, and uh, the astonishment that he caused. We know that even the uh, scribes and the Pharisees of that day said, we know he must be of God, for no man can do these things that he doeth except God be with him. So we know that Christ was an unusual person. I do believe that he was indeed a divine person. And we know that he did many, many great miracles. We always uh, thrill to read of the miracles of Jesus Christ and to be reminded of his great power. We've been covering that in our Wednesday night Bible studies about the miracles that Christ worked and and he worked those miracles to show us that he does have power over all things. And we can be assured today that the day of miracles is not past. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can even think or ask. And his power is not diminished with the years. But, uh, you know, it's not the fact that he can do great miracles that brings us to a place of salvation. Uh, it's the fact that he became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Think about how Christ went about doing good. The Bible said that he went about doing good, and I know he reached out to the to the friendless, uh, the friendless, and became friends with them. I believe that he did good at every opportunity. He wouldn't admonish us to do good. You know, the apostle says, "Let us do good." as we have opportunity, especially to them of the household of faith. And I don't think that uh, Christ, the Bible would admonish us to do good had not our great example went about doing good. So he did a lot of good in this whole world. I mean, everywhere he went, he did good. He went about doing good. But it wasn't the fact that he went about doing good that uh, causes him to be our Savior today. It was his death on the cross. I think about not only the working of miracles, I think but not only about him going about and doing good that might cause us to think that uh, he can be our savior. Uh, we know that he was a great teacher. He taught as one having authority. He was one of the greatest teachers that ever lived, his method of teaching and uh, the different uh, uh, things that he taught. I mean, he taught things that heretofore had never been taught before, and people were astonished at his doctrine. And indeed, Christ was and is a great teacher. If everybody would just adhere to the teachings of Christ, what a different world we would have. But you know, again, it wasn't the fact that he was divine. It's not the fact that he worked a lot of miracles. It's not the fact that he went about doing good. It's not the fact that he was a great teacher. Our salvation hinges upon him becoming obedient to death, even the death of the cross. So Christ died on the cross for you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth on him should never perish, but have everlasting life. He loved you so much that he died for you. 
Why not accept him as your Savior? Heavenly Father, thank you for such a wonderful Lord and Savior today. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Now go with us throughout this day and on down throughout our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Lights Devotional. Goodbye.